What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to focus on layering men's hair. So what I want to do is go through the sectioning with you guys first and then we're going to get into the cut. We're going to do a basic layered square haircut for you. So what I did was I separated from parietal ridge all the way around creating a horseshoe section on top of the head. And then I just went straight down vertical, straight down center back. And now I'm gonna work parallel to my body the whole way across. So everything's gonna come straight out from the head, but working the layering in that head shape. So notice how my finger angle mimics the curve of the head as I work down. I also start from the top and I work my way to the bottom. Uh, that for me is just really determining how long do I want those layers to be within the interior of this cut. And then I work my way out to the outer perimeter. Now. Don't worry as you go through this cut how long that outer perimeter is. You can always cut that shorter, but you really want to focus on how long do you want those layers to be. And again, remember, we're cutting square in the back or balanced, like I like to call it, which is basically straight back from the head, cutting a nice uh, parallel line to your shoulders if you're staring at the back of the head. So just make sure everything until you get to this point right here comes straight back off the head shape. Uh, and you'll be good to go cutting that balance shape in the back. That will also push a little bit of weight behind the ear, which we'll cut into later as well. Notice that my technique with the scissor is really kind of, the scissors at about 45 degree angle. I'm point cutting each line. Uh, that gives me a more textured effect. So this is gonna be a good look at our balance shape. So notice the comb angle and how everything comes straight out to that. There's no over direction. If I over direct, it's gonna push weight in a certain area that I don't want it to be. I want everything to fall nice and balanced throughout this cut. So now difference here, working to my right hand side, my fingers are now pointed down. I'm combing everything into that uh, previous section and just working my way across. So same thing, balance shape in the back. Uh, cutting that line, we're gonna do the same thing here, and then we're gonna move into the uh, right-hand side. We're gonna do the same thing on that side as well. There you go, you come, everything gets pulled straight back until you get to that point right there uh, where the hairline uh, splits the head in half. So just follow that hairline all the way up. That's when you know to stop. And then you're gonna move to the side and pull everything straight out and create your other balance section. So now, just to clean up the hairline, I'm gonna use my favorite tool. Uh, it's available on our shop, shopfse.com. Check the link in the description. It's just 100% cutting side. There's a 50% carving side. I just pinch the hair and I cut that perimeter length to what I want it to be. Now, you could do that with scissors as well. I just like the freedom of using that razor tool. It comes in two different sizes. You got wide teeth and fine teeth, so go check it out on our shop. It's 39 bucks, super cool tool to have in your toolbox. Uh, so if you don't have one, go pick it up. Um, now we move into the front. I'm just gonna cut everything. I'm gonna pull it to one side, cut it, point cut it. Then I'm gonna pull it over to the opposite side, pulling the guide from the bottom, and I'm gonna point cut that. What that's gonna do is give me my longest point in the very center top. What I love so much about this cut and the end result is that a guy can really wear this to whatever side he wants. He just flips it back uh, and it's very versatile, super easy to style haircut. So I work my way through, this is a traveling guide as well, so no over direction, just coming straight up, working the hair all the way to the one side, then back all the way to the other side, and that's it. All right, so now we're gonna finish it up with uh, just a quick blow dry. I really wanna get him about 80% dry. Uh, that's what I like to do with men's hair. You don't have to dry it all the way, but you don't want a ton of moisture in it because then the product won't have the hold uh, throughout the day. So I use Mitch Clean Cut. 
uh, from Paul Mitchell. I put that in the hair, it gives it nice hold, but still gives it that kind of wet look. We still uh, utilize that texture, that curl. Uh, it's a super fun cut, so I hope you guys like it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. By the way, guys, freesaloneducation.com is powered by my friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, they're the best in the business. Uh, they've been supporting Free Salon Education for a long time, so go give them some support. Uh, check out MinervaBeauty.com and at Minerva Beauty on Instagram.